1983, the Republicans had hijacked the family and they had turned it into an ideological tool. And family values, I felt the family that they were talking about was quite oppressive. And I felt the family is one of the most complicated, unnerving institutions. And yet it's the last institution anyone, I think, believes in. Most of us believe in. We don't believe in certainly the government. Most of us don't believe in the church. Certainly we don't believe in the bank. The family still has a pull, so it's an interesting, it's a really interesting place. And um, my family was very, family life was complicated. My father was very uh, a strong character. He was an orphan, came up out of the lower classes, worked his way up to uh, being a vice president. A real Horatio Alger story. But he was pissed that I was an artist, and he always gave me a hard time. He you know, called me a loser. He lost his job when he was younger than me, when he was in his early 50s because the company was sold, he never worked again. The wound is deeply in the family. So I began to study these home movies, looking for myself, looking for the evidence of my life, and realized I could reshape them like a good uh, uh, dream. I could reinsert myself into family life. Looking at my family home movies, which are documents, but they also have the sense that a family's projected its dreams onto film emotion. They celebrate the family in the most mystical, remarkable ways, like a good folk tale. And I began then using movie stills, their pictures, snapshots, and then I began making my own pictures. My pictures were a blend of uh, staged and documentary work, again, trying to collapse those differences. To me, the truth is about performance, how we perform, how we project. Um, and it can be, a, the truth can be staged and it can be found. I don't think there's such a division between the two. But it's still a kind of intimate image, a private image. And then you make that public. Well, there's a kind of betrayal that happens. You, you know, something's torn when you go from private to public. A trust. I felt terrible about this throughout the project. I, I, I felt like I was, I had a secret and I felt I was betraying my parents. And so the way I got around this was to actually have them in a sense, be collaborators. They wrote that we discussed the pictures. They dismantled my position. I was under question, as much as the home movies were under question. They're all fictive, they're all partially true. Just for me on a personal level, it allowed me to resolve a lot of my issues with my family. My father's very philosophical, and, and uh, there's a picture of him sitting on a bed, all dressed up, and he said, you know, look, I'm really happy to help you with this work but I really I want you to know that I already know that that's you sitting on the bed, that this is a self-portrait. I know who I am, you know who you are, your values are part of this work, but let's just make it very explicit, that's you sitting on the bed. And I, and I, I was always taken by the amount of, of um, no art training, how astute and clear-headed he was about photographic issues. They came to uh, one of the openings at, uh, it was at MCA in, in San Diego where there was a, the, the show was traveling and there were people asking my father for his autograph and, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, he said, I don't know whether I'm making your fa you famous or you're making me famous. But we were bound together in some very odd enterprise that neither of us would have ever predicted. <laughs>